example 5.1 or 6.1 for the given textbooks. For details, please see the description below. A garden hose attached with a nozzle is used to fill a 10 gallon bucket. The inner diameter of the hose is 2 cm and it reduces to 0.8 cm at the nozzle exit. If it takes 50 seconds to fill the bucket of water, determine the volume and the mass flow rates of water through the hose and determine the average velocity of the water at the exit of the nozzle. The first step is to calculate the volume flow rate. The volume flow rate is given as the volume that we have in the uh, bucket divided by the time that it takes to fill it up. In this case we have 10 gallons and it says that it takes 50 seconds uh, to fill it up. So now let's now uh, convert gallons into a uh, meter cubed so that we could uh, get a value in those units. We know that one gallon is equal to 3.7854 liters and we know that a thousand liters are in one meter cubed. If we do this multiplication, we find that the quantity is 757 times 10 to the negative 4. Notice that gallons cancels with gallons, uh, liters with liters, and the unit left is meter cubed per second, which is a unit of volume flow rate. The next step is to calculate the mass flow rate. The mass flow rate is simply the density uh, multiplied by the volume flow rate and we take this to be um, water so with the density we're going to use is a thousand uh, kilograms per meter cubed and we multiply by the volume flow rate 7.57 times 10 to the negative 4 meter cubed per second meter cubed and meter cubed cancel and the value left is going to be 0. 757 and the units are going to be kilograms per second which are the units of mass flow rate. The next step is to determine the average velocity at the exit of the nozzle. Since we have the value of the vol volume flow rate, volume flow rate is also defined as the value of the velocity times the area at the particular point. Um, so we could define either as the value of the velocity at the entrance times the area of the entrance or the value at the velocity at the exit times the area of the exit. Since we're looking for the value of the exit, we're going to take the last part of the equation. So the volume flow rate is equal to the velocity at the exit times the area at the exit. So the velocity is simply going to be the volume flow rate divided by the area at the exit. And the volume flow rate we already calculated as 7.57 times 10 to the negative 4 meter cube per second. And the area is going to be a circle and the cross-sectional area is simply pi. Um, over 4 and the diameter that we have is 0.8 uh, times 10 to the negative 2 meters make sure that you convert and then we do square and then we find that the velocity at the exit is equal to 15.1 notice that the units simply become meter cube and meter square simply become meter divided by second and those are the units of velocity